The federal government has confirmed that work is in progress on how to inject sanity into the social media, which is said to be out of control. Information Minister Lai Mohammed, who disclosed this to newsmen in Abuja, said no responsible government will sit back to allow such activities capable of setting the country on fire to continue unchecked. He also said that no amount of criticism will stop the government from implementing tougher sanctions on broadcast stations who breach the nation's broadcast code. Well, to discuss this further, I have a national coordinator, Media and Information Literacy, UNESCO, Dr. Ulufni Fessi Suraj. Good to have you on the news at 7. Thank you, Dr. So, yes, what do you make of this development where the information minister says this intention is not to gag the media, but just to protect the airwaves? Uh, well, uh, one would like to know how the government wants to protect or regulate uh, the social media. Uh, you will discover that this is not the first time we're talking about this. The social media bill at a particular time, of which the government itself denied and said they are not going to be part of it. So I'm surprised now that the same government who made that information, they are not, they are not going to be part of that uh, uh, constraining the civil you know, space, is now coming back to say that uh, they want to do something about it. See, the truth is this, that you know, it will be promoting tyranny and culture of silence if freedom of expression is curtailed in, in one form way or the other. When you look at the government uh, body language, what you see is that control in form of censorship, which can be self-censorship or, 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 or what they call institutional self-censorship and deterrence. Even right now, as I was coming, people say you have to be very careful what, of what they're going to say because government is saying that anything about social media, they're going to enforce it. So it shows that we are going to shrink the civil space and we're not going to allow freedom of expression. And we should be aware that freedom of expression is the basic fundamental human right of any nation. And let me tell you something. Where debate is suppressed, dissident surfaces, truth, other means of violent revolution. Well, because when, you, okay, sorry, because when men, because okay. when, when people are driven away from public space where they can make you know, a free speech, you see, you will send them to a cellar where revolution is born. Now, talking about revolution, you have instances where people go on social media to instigate violence, to propagate things that are not civil for human consumption. What do you say about that? Don't you think the government is in line to protect sanity on the airwaves? Now, I'll go back to what Thomas, Thomas Jefferson said about that. It's an error of opinion should be asserted where reason is left to combat it. You see, this information disorder has not just come. We have, it has been part of communication ecology. We've had the issue of satire, horses, uh, propaganda. It's always been there. Now, the fact is just that this is coming through a medium in which the people have liberty to open up. And when you, when you remember very well, you're talking about social media. Social media is more of, you're talking about democracy, the, uh, the media of the people, by the people, for the people. And that's the social media. It, give, it brings inclusion. It brings empowerment. It opens up the space. And I will tell you, the government to shutting them up is more is creating more of national insecurities. But you're also aware that the, the social media is also used to propagate terrorism, to propagate violent extremism. Very good. Because you know, in countries like we have in Germany, we have other EU countries who that have employed some laws to checkmate uh, social media uh, stories that are you know harmful for human consumption. Take for instance China; they have a law against it. Okay. Germany has it uh, as well. So. Why do you think Nigeria should not have its own? China is not practicing democracy. China is practicing communism. And look, if you're talking about democracy, is it that, is it that you want to practice democracy or to practice communism or authoritarian um, government? What if you begin to shut down uh, the social media? What you are practicing is what, they call total, what I call authoritarian democracy. And let me tell you about Germany. Germ what Germany did was what they call a net DG law. Mm -hmm. And what they did was that they didn't show that it's the, the space, they didn't control it. But they regulated it. All the, all the regulation is this. They regulate the, the, the search engines and the social media, part, the, you know, the intermediaries were asked to take responsibility for the content. Mm. That's totally different from uh, regulating the, 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 the conversation, all the conversations. The platform owner were asked to take responsibility, not the people. 
You see, but in this case now, I don't know how far go because when people hear this kind of thing, they say, okay, in Germany it was done. They didn't go at the contest. In this case now, what I want to know is that how the government want to regulate it. Is it that they want to bring in a kind of culture of uh, silence, or they want to make sure that uh, people don't talk or not put fear? And that will create what they call self-censorship when people are afraid to talk. So and that's not part of democracy. How do you think the government can regulate social media Very if good. it has good intentions? Education, not regulation. You see, people need to be, people have, the government have not done enough awareness. I must say that. They've not educated the people. You know what somebody said? Jefferson said, he said, a, well, a, a well-informed citizen is the best defense against tyranny. And I will tell you that uh, those who want to give up liberty, you see, in the name of safety, we neither have liberty nor have safety. You see, what the government should have done is media, and that's what we preach every day about media and information literacy. We are talking about don't suppress the social media, don't even counter it. What do you do? You analyze it. And what do you do? You bring about information superiority. People need to be, need to be aware of the source of the information they are consuming. They need to do source and education. The, the problem here is not the social media itself, it's the people, it's the behavioral tendency, mm. it's the attitude. Mm. People share information without doing source and education, without the critical information they are receiving. And people do it without thinking. We're talking here of critical thinking, intercultural dialogue. All right, and that's a fine place to leave it right now. Dr. Oluni Fesli Suraj, thank you for your insights. Thank you so on much. The News at seven. Yeah.